Today we are going to try and see if these normal house lights all are going to fit in on that battery in this bathroom. So, yeah, that's today's job. So we we're stripping wires and taking plugs off things. They're the bulbs, and I'm not even sure if these are going to work because it's 12 volt and a house battery, a uh, house light. Um, yeah, but we'll see. Fred's fixing up the extension lead that will run power from this area, which is coming from the battery obviously, into the bathroom, which is there. And I've managed to get this switch, uh, take the plug off it, so bare wires, and now I've got to hook this up to the light, to these lights, and then onto that. doing now and hopefully if all goes well these lights will come on soon so that's that all uh, wired together this bit goes in the extension lead which goes going in there and uh, hopefully it will power our lights for the bathroom yay before I go into the bathroom, before it gets too dark to see, um, this is Fred threading the wire in through the wall so I can jump in and wire it in to this mad contraption down here, which is the lights. So I'm going to move this chair and get in the bathroom. Okay, so we scrapped the super complicated overdrawn wiring system with house lights on it and we've now gone for a much simpler camping light that has been donated on loan from my father to light the... say again? <laughs> okay so after ditching the odd wiring situation we've got this wiring situation and amazingly ta -da! there is light in the bathroom isn't it amazing? Cool. So yeah now I need to find out where this is going, I assume I'm sticking it up here, and uh, yeah, that's it, then the light in the bathroom's done. Say again? Stick it up here or stick it over there? Up there? Yeah, we could do that. That would probably work better as well, because then there's less electricity going this way, near the water. So yeah, nice logical thinking. Cool, bruh! And here it is. If I flick this switch, light for the bathroom, and now you can sort of see in here a bit better. Well, not great because the camera's not great, but yeah, how cool is that? Um, right, so we did the light in the bathroom. Um, if I get on this tomorrow, or if we get on this tomorrow, it's going to be showering, and then I'm going to give it a huge tidy up and chuck everything that I don't need in the garage and then we'll take stock of everything we'll clean everything and it'll, it'll look awesome so yeah super boss okay so we finally managed to buy some battery connectors they're only I think it was 150 each and they're quite heavy duty so hopefully they'll never ever ever rust or need changing or corrode um, and now we've got to put a better wire on this and a fuse so that it doesn't blow all elect electronics and then when that's done hopefully we can turn the lights on and off at will and that will save us a few problems in the future which is nice so we're going to get on with that today so after some genius wiring and finding of fuses we managed to sort this out which is our, one of our power leads connected by fuse to the lights and the switchboard and the lights in the bathroom and hopefully soon the shower our only problem now is we need to find a fuse big enough so that's our next job I think I'm going to go raid my little blue fiesta for that though There's always, of course, the chance that I've got this wrong and that we will need an exponentially bigger fuse, but for now, we're going to try this and 
Let's see what happens. That's positive. That one there. Positive. And then negative. Alright, knock that on. And now, hopefully, when we press this button, oh, it lights up! Oh, it lights up! Yeah, jobs are good, and man. Is the bathroom light on as well? So if I turn that light off, the bathroom light's still on, so. There's a switch on the back of the bathroom light. Look at the little bar! Isn't it exciting? Yeah, man, that's, that's the development. I'm pleased with that. Battery terminals, yeah! How awesome is that? The shower works and it's plugged in up there along with the light which is also working and yeah we've got ourselves a shower. Yeah! Just in our extra time, we've managed to fit the different switch to the wall and strip the wires for the pre-existing Renault traffic minibus light. And we've, we're going to sack this little switch here off. This is no longer being used. We're going to use this one instead because obviously it will be easier to turn off when I'm in bed. So. That's what we're doing now. Fred is wiring the new switch in. I've just stapled it to the wall. That's that. Just little finishing touches and stuff now. Just to finalise. But then we need an engine! Help! Okay, so this is all wired in now. I uh, admit it doesn't look very neat, but who needs neat? Um, and I'm sure in the future we'll tidy it up so it looks okay. But yeah, that's the switch in for the light, and we've now got to run the power in from there, around right the back, using that wire there, and into the switchboard down there. So. I think there's a lot of emergency vehicles going down the road again. Was it? Oh, but we missed them. Oh. Fred saw them, I missed them. Damn it! After Fred's miraculous wiring job. Da da! And check this out. Even the switch works. Yes! Nice work, Fredders. And that, all of them are still working. Fantastic, and I'm sure if we were to check the bathroom as well, they'd be working as well. Yes! Oh, I think Fred's gonna go check the bathroom. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. So that is all the lighting done now. It just, uh, if you want to turn the main, can you just turn the main switch back on for the bedroom, Fred? all the lighting in the van completed now and admittedly yes it doesn't look very neat but oh well it works and it's fantastic okay so we've just had a quick tidy up obviously we've still got a mattress to go on top of there but this is with most of the lights on obviously the lights in the bathroom are on as well you can just sort of see oh, you can't really i'll just open the door oh just so fresh so yeah, there's the light in the bathroom, there's our working shower, there's our super awesome switchboard, it lights up, still haven't decided what the bottom switch is going to be for yet, but yeah, this is the super bus, almost done, I just need to put a flap on there to, for the cooker, so it's got its own tray. And obviously we need to find an engine. If anyone has got an F1N engine for a Renault traffic, please, please, please get in touch. We've travelled to Yorkshire to get one, so 
We'll travel even further than that if we have to.